NASA has found an ancient asteroid filled with water. Could this meteorite help explain how water got to Earth? Scientists have detected a new type of water-filled meteorite in the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. These asteroids bear striking similarities to Ceres, the only dwarf planet in the solar system's interior known to be filled with H2O. Although relatively close to Ceres, these meteorites orbit farther from their larger siblings in the belt. This discovery, made at the NASA Infrared Telescope Facility in Hawaii, provides evidence that main belt asteroids migrated from a cold region, perhaps beyond Neptune or Pluto. These clues confirm the theory that asteroids, affected by the severe gravity of the giant planets in the primordial solar system, came to their present positions relatively closer to the Sun. How did water come to Earth? How water got to Earth still remains a mystery. Some scientists believe that 4.5 billion years ago, the Earth expelled its gases, creating an atmosphere that eventually allowed rain to fall. Others argue that the oceans were formed as a result of the water brought by space rocks from outside the solar system. The discovery of this new class of asteroids may excite astronomers who theorize that large bodies of water were formed by icy asteroids and comets crashing into Earth. According to Andy Rifkin, a planetary scientist at the Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Lab, the discovery of this group of asteroids supports the idea that meteorites from the outer reaches of space are bringing water to the solar system. Cousins of these asteroids may have entered the solar system and crashed into Earth and Mars, bringing with them ice and organic matter, Rifkin, an expert on asteroids containing water and organic matter, told Mashable. The millions of asteroids orbiting the Sun today are actually debris from the formation of the solar system about 4.6 billion years ago. Asteroids are often hailed as the threat to the region, making sensational headlines for approaching Earth even as they glide harmlessly millions of kilometers away. Astronomers view them as insignificant rocks that cannot transform into a real planet. Driss Takir, lead author of the study, published this week in the journal Nature Astronomy, argues that the scientific value of asteroids is undeniable. These asteroids provide an ancient record of complex chemical and physical changes over time in the Sun Nebula, the gas and dust cloud slash nebula where the Sun and planets formed, Takir says. This new class of asteroids, such as Ceres, rich in water and carbon, has the same components necessary for life on Earth. These asteroids can help us better understand the origin and evolution of our solar system, Takir told Mashable. These asteroids could help us better understand the origin and evolution of our solar system. Researchers from the University of Heidelberg in Germany use computer simulations to examine how these asteroids might have migrated from the outer solar system to the present-day asteroid belt. Observing meteorites with infrared spectroscopy, the process of measuring light reflected from a surface to learn about the object's minerals, Takir has identified 15 dark-colored and water-rich asteroids such as Ceres. Takir believes that with more observations, scientists can determine how many more asteroids like Ceres are in the main asteroid belt. What does Ceres consist of? Before 2006, Ceres was a rather faint object among cosmic bodies. It was known as a massive asteroid, 804 kilometers wide, located 402 million kilometers from the Sun Ceres was promoted to this newly opened dwarf planet cast when the scientific community demoted Pluto from planet to dwarf planet. Then in 2015, a NASA spacecraft took a closer look at the unusually bright spots seen on Ceres' surface. Thanks to the Dawn mission, scientists discovered that Ceres is an oceanic realm. It has been learned that the white spots on Ceres' surface are actually a salty crust made of sodium carbonate, which we use as a water softener. Examining the mission data, the scientists concluded that this salty crust was the remnant of a salty reservoir hundreds of kilometers wide, located about 40 kilometers underground. Meteorite impacts either melted the mud just below the surface or created large cracks on the dwarf planet, causing salt water to seep out from the ice volcanoes. Astrobiologists are interested in whether primitive life forms existed on Ceres, the closest ocean planet to Earth. The National Academy's Planetary Science Decade Survey recently proposed that NASA send a robotic spacecraft to land on Ceres to collect samples. 
Just like Ceres, discovered asteroids have minerals on their surface resulting from interaction with liquid water. The research suggests that at least some of these asteroids may also have water ice. Asteroid 10 Hygieia, in particular, is the largest Ceres-like asteroid with an almost spherical shape, De Kier says. We will need high-resolution spacecraft observations to look for water ice on these asteroids. Despite strong claims that outer solar system objects introduce water components into the solar system, the research team did not find any meteorite material on Earth that fits the new asteroid class. This does not seem to bode well for theory. Still, experts say not finding these pieces on Earth doesn't mean they're not here. If you throw a snowball at Earth, it won't be able to pass through the atmosphere because somehow it will heat up, melt and evaporate, explains Rifkin. But the water will have been added to the atmosphere.